on News Talk 105.9 WMAL. O'Connor and Company. It's 637 on a busy Monday morning. Thanks for joining us. 705 Joe DeGeneva will explain it all to us. 745 Trevor Maddich will explain the commander's collapse yesterday. And at 835, Adam Gallette will explain how he's being persecuted for telling the truth. There, that's that's all the explanation needed. I'm Larry O'Connor. Julie Gunlock, you explain yourself. I will, I will. All right, that'll, that'll come later. Joining us right now is Carrie Rist to explain her run for school board chair, Prince William County. Uh, good morning. I always want to thank the candidates because I know what the last, well, I can guess what the last several months have been like, and especially now this final push, which you've got eight days until the final election day. So thank you for jumping in there and, and running in the first place. Oh, you're welcome. It's a pleasure. Carrie, um, you specifically now in this final stretch run, you want to focus on the fundamentals and uh, tell your story of what how important it was to be a female student athlete, because that's very much in danger should you and your colleagues not win in Prince William County and sort of change the direction of that school board. Yeah, for sure. So we pushed out two ads earlier, one specifically on SOL, academics, strictly data, talking about Prince William County and how these academics went down significantly. And all parents across the board are concerned about that. We can get into that, but that's not what we're talking about this morning. Then we did one on school school safety. is a huge issue. Just, again, looking at the data numbers. In one year, 46 threats, 24 weapons. Nine of them were handguns. One year. But my favorite ad that we just rolled out this week was the one that my youngest daughter and I did together. Um, I have three that play travel soccer. Um, and, yeah, I was a Division One student athlete. That was my way to go to college. I am the oldest of six. My parents didn't have money to send me to college. And I got really good at soccer. And it goes to a fundamental fairness question. Um, it's protecting young girls, protecting dreams, protecting children. And I think we can all agree that it is unfair for biological males to compete with females. Why would a young girl in my age six run miles, wake up before everybody else did with a competitive nature, thinking ahead for the next game? Why would we do that? It, 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 it's in jeopardy, and it's, it's not common sense to me. Carrie, how do you respond to people? Um, I love that you're taking on the women's sports issue, um, but how do you respond to people who, who sort of have this, let's be kind Let's be kind. And also sort of this idea of we need to allow transgender um, identifying, because I don't believe there's anything such thing as a transgender child. But um, as as uh, as they must participate in everything because it's mentally unhealthy for them to not be allowed to, to, to participate. How do you react or how do you respond to comments like that? Well, first. I don't believe it's unkind, right? I think kindness comes from understanding and having conversation and open dialogue. And I will have a conversation with anybody. My door is always going to be open for conversations. Um, and I have had plenty of conversations with people that dis- dis- that disagree with me, and that's okay. We can agree to disagree. But when we're enacting policy and we're enacting regulations that are going to affect hundreds and thousands of children, why are we enacting laws that protect less than 1%? And I don't mm-hmm. even have the percentage on my fingertips when we're not protecting the majority. Right. And, you, and I'm a coach, right? I just finished a coaching season. And unfortunately, I haven't had to encounter this situation, but I did encounter a situation with a student last year who had an issue changing clothes in the bathroom. And the PE teacher came to me and said, coach, you can't start your starter because he's failing gym class. And I said, what? And I went to him and had a conversation and said, what is going on here? And it wasn't a question of gender. It was a question of middle schoolers don't want to change in front of anybody, whether it's boys or girls. But you have that conversation and you find solutions. And in that case, the solution was, hey, can you leave class a little bit early or instead of talking to your friends or instead of going to the bathroom or can you rush and get to the single cell change quickly so you feel more comfortable? Yeah. You know, and then, and, but we're not having these conversations. Nope. Instead, we're enacting political policies right. that aren't protecting the majority. That's right. We're not having a, a conversation. We're being called names. We're being yelled at. We're being accused of contributing to teenage suicide 
if we don't just mm-hmm. acquiesce to every single demand, even when those demands put young girls in, in danger. Uh, Carrie Rist is our guest, candidate for school board chair in Prince William County. Carrie, uh, use this last minute to sort of make your final pitch for votes. Uh, voting is going on right now. Early voting is incredibly important. That's why Governor yep. Youngkin joined us on Friday. But people have eight days to finish this job. Go ahead and make your, your case. Oh, thank you. All right, guys. So I'm Carrie Rist. I'm running for school board chair. If you live in Prince William County, it's not district. I am your entire county vote. I'm running on a three-part platform. It's academic excellence. We have to get back to academics. We have to raise the literacy rates. We need every child reading. Statistics show that if a child is not reading by third or fourth grade, they're three or four times more likely to drop out. I am not okay with that. School safety, like I said earlier, um, is a huge concern. And I believe that we need to do better for our students and protect them. And talk about what's going on. Talk about the fentanyl use. Talk about the crime in school. And 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 deal with it. And come up together and have more conversations in town halls. And I'm the only candidate that believes that we should enact Governor Youngkin's model policy that protects the bathrooms of your biological gender, the sports of your biological gender. And I believe that nothing should be concealed from parents. Parents aren't trying to take over. That is what the media is pushing. Um, and it's not true. We just want to be involved in the conversation. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's me. Carrie Go to the website, Carrie for Chair. <laughs> Carrie for Chair dot com. That's Carrie like the Stephen King novel with the blood no. sissy <laughs> space. A little Halloween. Sorry, uh, Carrie. Well. It's a Halloween thing. Yeah, <laughs> Carrie. Okay. I'm actually... Oh. I was saying I'm actually a Caroline, and it was oh. a sweet Caroline, my parents' first date. Oh. So That's what they tell you now. <laughs> yeah, we'll invoke the Neil Diamond. <laughs> Carrie Ford Chair. Carrie with the number four, chair.com. Thanks, Carrie, and good luck. Get out there. Knock Thanks. on doors. You guys have a great day. You too. Yes. Bye. It is 644. Benjamin Franklin once said the only 